Annyeonghaseyo. I'm Demar Shlie. I'm Aria. And we're so you so for two. two. Okay, so next we're going to be doing our final review on a Shut Up Flower Boy Band. Yes, and this one that we really, really liked yeah. the entire show. So we're really excited about this one. And now I have a huge list of characters, <laughs> so I'm going to go through them and go through them a little slowly so I can put them down here so you can follow along. Okay, so we have uh, Sung Joon plays Kwon Ji Hook. Kim Young So plays Lee Hun So. Lee Min Ki plays Ju Byung Hee only in the first episode or first two. Uh, first two. <laughs> um, Jung Yu Cho plays Song Hoon. Lee Hun Jae plays Jung Do Il. Yu Min Ku play, uh, plays Kim Ha Jin. Kim Min Suk plays So Kong Jung and Jo Boa plays Im Su Ah. Okay, so it's a long cast of yes. characters, and I think that like this is the second one in like the series of. Uh, Flower, Boy. Flower Boy, you know, it's Flower Boy Ramen Chop, then it's Shut Up Flower Boy Band, I think there's going to be another one. And I think, like, right away, you know, expect the characters, it's going to be Flower Boys. Yes. And I think that this one was more Flower Boys to me than Flower Boy Ramen Chop. Uh, um, I agree, actually. a ton of boys, mm -hmm. and all young. Because we, every, I mean, everyone really liked everyone in Shut yeah. Up, I mean, um, Flower Boy Ramen Chop. I think there was only two that really stood out. In this one, they're all really yeah. adorable in different ways. And they all, I feel like, are developed in their own little ways. I mean, you know a lot about each it's character. Different. And I think this was one where it's an ensemble cast. Mm -hmm. I mean, the main leads, like, we love them, you know, but there was also all this other side thing going on and they did a great job of in 16 episodes making you feel like you really cared about these people and I really thought that though I maybe I didn't like this one as much as Flower Boy Roman Chop because that one's like one tops of my for me um that one had a better kiss yeah so even though this one had a good kiss and it made our best kisses list they still yeah. think that Flower Boy Roman Chop had the best kiss yeah so I think that you know when it's definitely good drama, yeah. and I think like there it's strong the whole way through for this. Drama. And what I really like for this one is that the side characters, the band members, ended up sort of having their own little stories, mm -hmm. and all of them really had like a great development. I'd say like the really tall one who was sort of in love with the idol. Yeah. You know, he I really he came to love him in the end. Yeah. I thought he was adorable. The really brooding uh, guitarist, you know, who was really angry in the beginning. Of course, we loved Sweet. him yeah. and Do Il. Who is of course one of my favorites? He ends up getting the girl, so there's lots That's of good. really good yeah. characters. In this and one. I think chemistry, I mean, yeah. excellent. Like right away, you felt like they were brothers, yeah. like that they were this band. And with the main female lead and the main male lead, like I thought they had great chemistry. And you know, even from the beginning, it felt kind of like you know, even when you know the first episode when she trips and falls into mm -hmm. him instead of Byung Hee, uh, his Byung Hee, yeah. the character of Byung Hee. Um, you know, you know right away it's gonna be great. Gonna and be I great. feel like. That the chemistry here was excellent, and the love triangle. I mean, there really isn't a love triangle at all because what happens? Well, there is a side character um, of uh, Hunso. Yeah, who I loved him, but um, from you know, that kind of Flower. goes away kind of early on. Yeah, and then you know, bring his character. He likes her in the beginning, but there never really is a love triangle in mm. that. So I think you kind of always know she's gonna end up end with Jihyuk. Hook. Yeah. It's just more of like the complications outside of their relationship. And I need to say, like, in the end of this one, I really feel like it ended in a really great, mature yeah. way. Like, it was not, I, it didn't feel like, um, a lot of these sort of dramas where I feel like, oh, I don't like the when they flash forward. And they didn't flash mm. forward very far, but they really made mature decisions as, mm. like, you know, growing up and it's coming of age. So I think it was one of those dramas where I really felt like it ended great. Yeah. And exactly what I wanted from it. Uh, mistaken identity and misunderstanding. I feel like that caused drama for them when they were actually being like idols for mm -hmm. a little bit and stuff like that, yeah. and like you know the girlfriend thing. And I think they realized that they didn't really want that lifestyle of like you know you can't have like a girlfriend come out of your apartment because then everyone will think you have a girlfriend or that they're living together yeah. or something crazy, and like you really just can't live a life that way. So I think that like their misunderstandings had a lot to do with that stuff. Yeah, so I definitely I think the, the drove the plot in this one, and it really made it interesting. But yeah. it was really believable for some reason. It didn't feel like they were crazy out of the blue things that were happening in this drama. So yeah. I think it was really um, it was really like, on target with this one. Bad guy turned good. I mean, I feel like that's more um, the side character. Hunsu. Yeah, Hunsu. Yeah. She definitely has that transition of maybe just maturing and being less of like a jealous, you know, never boyfriend with her. Yeah. And I think Ji Hook, um, obviously, you know, he goes from being, being a like, jerk and sort of yeah, doesn't care about her to obviously loves her. And I think it was. I mean, honestly, I think this was well written mm. and well acted, and I really enjoyed this drama just in general. So we're talking about piggyback rides with this. I mean. There, like, no, there isn't any that right. going on. Kisses, like, there's a couple of kisses. Yeah, we have, well, we have three, we have five kisses, mm -hmm. and that includes the, like, peck on the cheek and stuff yeah. like that. But I think there was one really good kiss, and yeah. that was pretty much... 
The rooftop one. The rooftop <laughs> kiss, which I think was, like, symbolic of the whole show. Yeah, I think it was, like, excellent, and I, I just think that that scene was, like, so K-drama. So pretty. <laughs> and so pretty, like, yeah. it's just sort of the epic kiss scene. She had a great scarf. It was yeah. really, it was very good. Fashion. Uh, fashion. So this oh, one had everyone is great. Amazing yeah. fashion, like, across the board. Even their uniforms were the best uniforms we've yeah. ever seen. Great male fashion. Great male fashion. Great hair. Their hair, like, even though it changed, it was, like, really yeah. epic hair. Uh, and music. So clearly, I mean, I've been singing the main song uh-huh. like over and over again, the wake up song. I keep singing it. And there's two main songs that they sang, mm-hmm. but unlike the musical, they actually like did a good job <laughs> singing the same song. Oh, you know? Marsh hates the musical. Oh my gosh! Every time I watch, we watch a drama where they they sing. I'm always like, this is so much better than the musical. And they don't name it that, so. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, a lot so better. ratings. Okay, I give this a nine. I think that this is like a must see drama if you're interested in music. If you just like Flower Boys, it's really good looking boys. Yeah, it's like you can't go wrong with this drama. I think you're gonna love it. I'm gonna give it a nine too. I think it definitely didn't disappoint. From the beginning, we said that they knew what we would like when we watched Flower yeah. Boy Ramen Shop, and this was exactly what we wanted. And I think it had a really mature and really it's like great ending it was something that i was really hoping for and after a week of a couple other endings that i didn't like so much yeah, this was this one of one my favorites really did a good job and, and even though there wasn't like a big dramatic oh, kiss you know at the end yeah. of this, this um drama it still felt really like it summed up and you knew where it was, everyone very was going and it was really great so i say watch it watch it guys thanks bye, bye.